All right, these two are ready to go. And here we go. We got a little, a little wrestling on our feet here to start the no gi match. And they're using, you know, when you tap the knee like that, you're using that arm as a measuring yeah. stick to see if you've got the right distance to shoot. Yeah. And do it outside, pushing Apito up against the wall, but you know they come back to the center. Nice oh wow! Level Ayo. change. Yeah. Definitely like very tense because you can see, <laughs> you can see like they're both just like waiting to like to shoot on the other. Yep. So you're gonna see just a lot of posturing right now. Good. Yeah. I like those level changes that you yeah. see. That's uh, the key to most shots is, yeah. you know, if you make them think you're going high, then you go low. Yeah, it's definitely great because you see, uh, like, Apito, like, very quickly, he felt like he just didn't have it. He was, like, just quickly just can't pop back up to his feet. Yeah, you know, there's two sides to that. If you know you're, you're just not able to get the penetration step you want, you kind of bail on it. But a lot of times a, a good shot is based on driving through your opponent. Oh, And a nice guard nice. pull. And... and Oh, do it out with a uh, very intense scramble. And, and thank you, uh, Nicholas Ano, for the donation. We're very much appreciated by everyone here at Tap Cancer Out. Like I said, uh, all every all the money donated goes strictly to um, a variety of organizations that all benefit like cancer research. Um, you can see the full list of like charities on the Tap Cancer Out website. Uh, think, but think once again for uh, for the donation just back to the match, which is pretty intense between Dura and Apito. Ooh, listen, you guys are moving lightning fast. Every small movement is super fast. Yeah. I see it. <laughs> oh, we tried tying up an arm there. Yes, yeah, definitely. And then do it else. Yeah, back to his feet. Back to the feet. Let's see some wrestling again here. Yeah, definitely very hard to be able to <laughs> do the play-by-play -play on this oh, one. Oh, he tried to shoot again for a kind of an outside single there. But he kind of used the outside single attempt to kind of just pull guard. You see that a lot, kind of a, a shot attempt that's really... Uh, it's it's a shot that's masqueraded as a uh, as a guard pull, and he's playing this underhook game from the half guard. You really don't, and there's the sweep. Oh, you really oh. don't want to end up right into a front face lock. And David's on top. He gets some credit for the sweep there. A small mm -hmm. little lull in the action, and it mm -hmm. looks like Apito's going to just uh, be content with uh, the guard. You know, as he climbs up uh, Dudao's back. And, yeah, yeah, fortunately, they're facing away from us, so we can't can exactly see. a little see. rubber guard from here. Mm. Eddie Bravo School. Not that he's from the Eddie Bravo School, but Eddie Bravo made the rubber guard famous. Uh. All right. A little more than uh, three minutes and a half to go. <coughs> so it's calmed down a little bit. We had a pretty uh, fast and furious start. It's calmed down. We're just seeing some some guard play here. He's going right back to that rubber guard. Let's see what he can do with that. He wants to, when he holds that rubber guard there, see the far side arm. He wants to kind of slide under and overhook that arm. As long as David's got that, that form and elbow in, it's going to be pretty tough to do anything with that. Yeah. And we'll center him up here, start him back and close guard. <laughs> yeah, they are definitely not tired, that's for sure. <laughs> so it's uh, they're just taking their time as they... Uh, I want to sell him the next move, in, and you know, Dudao is definitely just trying to like get out of his guard. Our right, posture up, uh, you know, Apito's quickly. Hey, he's tying up the arm there. Match. He's tying up an arm. Let's see. Oh, yeah, quickly Back kicks him feet. off Let's and both the their feet. Yeah. So far at this point, it's a pretty even match. We had the one sweep by David. Yeah. The only real scoring thing that we know. Tried mm. for a trip there. I do love that, you know, dude, I was constantly just, you know, fainting the level change. Yeah, you see a lot of feints going on, but you, you got to mix in some, some actual shots with those feints, too. And single leg, he went for the trip. There he is. Nice takedown. 
that, that really makes this match extremely tight. <laughs> this yeah, I was, I was just thinking the same thing. I was like, yeah, it's about to take down a piece for you. Uh, I don't really see anything substantial like that could be even considered a, a submission attempt, to be honest. Not yet. We've had a few kind of tie-ups to submission attempts, we should call them. That's about it. Looks like we're about a, looks like a, how much, we got like uh, a minute and a half? A minute and 52 seconds. Oh, okay, a little under two minutes still left to go. Yeah, so let's see some knee shielding here from David. Mm. And let's see if Jacob can pressure pass here. He had already felt that underhook earlier. This underhook from David right there. You can see it right in front of us. David wants to turn into him. Either that or he's going to spin back to the other side and start playing a deep half. Jacob doing a great job of pressure here. He's going to start getting that right knee free, and he's going to cut his hips away from him and sneak that foot out. He's really close to passing right now. Yeah. So he wants to pressure the head away from the lit. Yeah, it is. And then in a just, match this tight, this might be the... That's the probably the deciding score right there. At least at this point, we've got yeah. a little yeah. over a minute and left. And uh, Pito's got like the neon, neon belly. belly he's trying to go for the mount. Again, yeah. and it's also a situation where that little bit, you can say, okay, he's being aggressive. He's going for the score. He's going for the finishes here. Back to guard. So David's got about a minute to work here. He's 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 down as far as I'm concerned right now. Jeez, these guys do not stop moving, huh? Not well, definitely. I mean, they're both. Neither is making it easier for you to either pass or to be able to get any kind of advantageous position. But uh, Beetle here with the back take. Jacob he almost has his back take. It's almost there. Some face smashing going on there. Does he have the hooks in, both hooks? Yes, he does. And there uh, things are a little five-second warning. Yeah, there's time. And that pretty much that was secured a great match. the win for Jacob, in my opinion. That was a great match. Really good match. One of those is easier to just uh, be quiet for a bit <laughs> because this oh, is going on a little <laughs> too quick. From Cauliflower Ears Farm, Top Cobo.